Joaquin Reyes with the Daily Cal and Cal Trade Radio. Can you talk about, you know, you, you have a knack for scoring in a Golden Bear uniform. Okay. You know, at UNLV, you've been scoring touchdowns, and now as a Bear, you keep scoring. What, what's that like? Uh, it's awesome scoring touchdowns, you know, just be able to contribute to the Team W. Hopefully I can keep it up. No, uh, the other pairs here, uh, football organically. Man, you were impressive out there today. What was it about the wide receivers that you were sensing blood out there? It was just preparation throughout the week, film study, meeting with my coaches, talking to my guys, just preparing basically. That's what led to a decent performance. Lorenzo Reina with BearTerritory.com on 24 7 Sports. Uh, you know, since the transfer to UNLV, how comfortable, how much comfortable have you gotten with Cal and the atmosphere, also playing with this defense? I feel like uh, I fit in right away with the guys, personally, my, my DB coaches, defensive staff, offensive staff. It just feels like family here, so it was an easy transition. Jim McGill with Barron Tyler. No, last year it seemed like guys were kind of staying away from you a little bit. Now you've got Marcus Harris playing opposite you. Does it feel like you're going to get challenged a little bit more and does that kind of get you excited to get more action out there? For sure. I go into every game expecting to get challenged, so that's just the mentality i got to go into the game with. A little Steve Kerner from the San Francisco Chronicle. It obviously was... Uh, it was obvious that Davis was not wanting to kick to Jaden. Yeah, thanks. So did you guys discuss that ahead of your kickoff return that that, that was a very good possibility you get the ball short? Yeah, they said in special teams, meaning that they're probably not going to kick it to Jay out, so I knew it was my opportunity to show what I could do, basically. So. Yeah, Jeff Ferrado, Cal Sports Report. A little bit more on that, if we could. Does that... Get you motivated? Get are you insulted when they're when they rather kick it to you than somebody else? I don't take it as an insult. It's just an opportunity to show what I can do. You know, basically. Take it's us through the play. What did you see and what happened there? I basically saw more guys lined up to the uh, right side, and I saw like one split out. So it was kind of like a crease already. And then right when I seen, I widened out. My coaches told me just widen out a little bit, scoot up to the 15, basically. And it just worked out. Me, me, me call. And then Ryan McCullough and um, Jordan. I think Jordan, they got good blocks. And, you know, I just hit the crease, took off. When that happens, are you, you seeing that opening and getting all excited? Man, I'm just not trying to get touched, basically. Like, I'm just like, the game of tag, basically. Like, I just knew we, we just need a momentum shift in the game. Noah, you starred in the Mountain West and you know, be it in the Pac-12 recently, but how much do you want to show the ACC what you're made of as well? I just want to show I'm consistent, you know, throughout the 12 games, plus one more. Just show consistency at this level, being, being physical and having good technique. Tom Stanford, how did the defensive side of the ball and the coaches come together to effectively adjust from the first to second half? Yeah, we just came into halftime. We knew that wasn't us on the field, and we knew we had to, you know, step up, basically. So that's what we did. The message got through. Hi, I'm Isaiah you know? with uh, Daily California. I wanted to talk about, wanted to ask you a little bit about what you saw in your performance today and how you're feeling coming out with the win. Uh, I feel good. Just, I didn't really expect to play this game. Just came in ready. And just scoring my first, I forgot the feeling of, what a touchdown is, so like just scoring that touchdown just made me feel like, it boosted my confidence, so just, I feel like my performance this game was really solid, like a 10 out of 10, and I'm glad we came out with the win. Joaquin Reese with the Daily California and Cali Radio. You got your touchdown, but is there any adjustment for you when you have you know Fernando in for one drive and then Chandler in for another? Um, uh, no, not really, because they're all, they're all, they're both good, so. I, I, I can catch, I can catch the ball, I can go with um, Chandler, I can go with Fernando, I can go with CJ. They're all good quarterbacks, so um, I just really want the ball. So if they can throw me the ball, I'm going to catch it, so yeah. Jim McGill, Baron Sider. Um, as I came into to camp, um, taking reps with the threes, mm -hmm. and you just kept um, riding and moving up and 
eventually you saw reps with the twos and, and mm -hmm. a bit with the ones, and you stretched the field a lot too. What um, what kept you going? What kept you confident? And uh, you got a really talented and deep room there. Yes, sir. What are your thoughts on that whole process? Um, throughout that process, it's really just my mindset was just I just want to play. Um, our room's really deep. We got Tobias, we got um, Keon, we got JB, um, Mikey. Our home, we got a full room of receivers. Um, we all work hard. We're all hard workers. So uh, it just really boosts my confidence just to go out there and play and just show what I can do on the field. And just know I'm not, I, um, I'm not the only one that can just not produce on the field as well. So um, yeah, I just, I'm just, a, I'm a ball player too. So. Tom Stone, right? Kaplan, uh, Isaiah, when you look at last year compared to now, contributing mm -hmm. significantly game one, what did you learn the most about yourself throughout this process? Um, really just, we're, we're, we're a good football team. Like, we can we can play football. Um, Cal has a, has their ups and downs seasons, but, like, this is only game one, and I feel like we're going to have a good season this year, so, yeah. And Isaiah. Yes, sir. Yeah. We talked about, although you already said that you forgot what it was like scoring mm -hmm. a touchdown. I want to ask you this two-part question. Sure. How did it feel scoring your first touchdown here with Cal, and do you expect to be a part of the offense a little more now? Yes, sir. Um, not going to lie, I kind of blacked out after scoring that touchdown. I didn't, there was so much emotions going through my body, but um, it felt good. Like. Um, I'm really. I feel like I'm a part of this team. Everybody's a part. Of, everybody's part of this team. But I feel like I have a role now on this team, and it's gonna be good. And for this season, we're gonna do good. We're gonna do good this season. I'm bringing up Colorado. What kind of momentum shift, momentum shift was it when Noel was able to get that touchdown return? Mm -hmm. um, it really boosted our offense. Like we we need those drives. We need those interceptions. Those um, touch. Um, those touchdowns for that that just boosted us, our confidence on offense, and I feel like Noah really did did his thing on the field, and that like just boosted our confidence as well. So. Mm -hmm.